What's up guys, EJ here with Learning to Live Fitness. Man, where have we been? It has been, I think, I think July, if I remember right, was the last time that we uploaded a video. Just real quick, if, if most of y'all don't know, uh, I have two young children, uh, three and 15 months. Um, me and my wife both do work full time, Nathan works full time, um, and yeah, life is just, it's crazy busy. So we've been working really hard on getting our shaker cups ready to be launched and put on the website. Um, even in July, we were working on them and there were just a lot of back and forth between how we were going to get them to you guys and finalizing all the little details and stuff like that. But they are finally available. So if you followed us on Instagram, you saw that uh, last night we posted on the story that they are finally live on the website. So there's basically two kinds. Um, I actually only have one of the kinds here with me um, because Nathan has most of them with him. But uh, there's a 32 ounce one, which is essentially this size, this tall, okay? But instead of this bottom portion that comes off, it's a full cup. So it's full 32 ounces of water, okay? So, and those all come in black. This is pink. And we also have red. Now, the other option is this style of bottle, okay? So this style bottle, the liquid portion is actually 22 ounces. So still a really good amount of water you can get in these. And um, it comes with this six ounce container for the bottom um, that you can put whatever you want to in here. Um, personally, what I like to do is I can make my pre-workout shake or my BCAAs or whatever I want in here and drink water while I'm at the gym. And this will hold uh, two scoops of protein and you could just have it on the bottom of your cup as soon as your workout's done. Take this off, dump the protein in, fill it up at the water fountain. You're on your way out the door with post-workout shake and you're good to go. But anyway, so these are now available on our website. Link will be in the description. Um, also still have shirts for sale. We are running a uh, code right now. I believe it's fall time. I'll confirm it'll be somewhere on this screen um, for 25% off on the shirts too. So um, go definitely check out the website. Also, while we're talking about the cups, a quick, uh, I guess you call it testimonial or uh, just a cool fact. Um, we actually had these uh, for a little bit before we were able to actually put them up live for you guys. So we wanted to test them out and um, make sure there wasn't anything we wanted to change or anything like that. And make sure the quality of the cups was you know, something we wanted to sell to you guys. Because um, we didn't want to just put our sticker on the cheapest cup we could find and send them out to you guys and they break in a week or um, you know that kind of thing. But So I actually had... Um, this cup with me one day uh, i think it was the only one we have clean we go through shakers like crazy but um so i had this one with me and i took it to the gym had did my workout um went out to the car i went to load everything in the car of course what did i do with this anybody anybody got a guess i bet you i bet you know pause the video and guess i left it on top of the car um, so I put it on top of the car, put all my stuff in, and immediately I just get in the car, hop in, back out. I get mm, 10 minutes up the road, finally realize I'm thirsty. Where is my shake? And uh, nowhere to be found. Immediately I figured out I left it on top of the car. So I immediately turn around, assuming... It's broke and shattered in the parking lot because don't know if you guys ever done this. If you've been to the gym long enough, you've done it. You've left it on top of the car and it's fallen off. And I'm almost certain every single time it's busted the shaker cup and it's now not usable. Well, happy to report 100% still usable. The uh, shake was still closed. There is, so see this? That is a little scratch. Can I focus? It is scratched right there, but it does not affect the functionality of the cup. As you can see, it sits there. Um, 
my the contents of the cup were still in the cup the lid did not break um and it that was on uh pavement so it didn't like fall off in grass or anything like that so very sturdy cups um just a little side story um of our accidental um uh torture test <laughs> but that is not the main reason for this video so the reason I wanted to make a video today, I was talking to a coworker yesterday, um, and we got to talking about um, weight loss. Um, so she had no idea about my story at all. Um, and when we got talking about weight loss, finally, she was really interested in how I had done that. So of course, I start describing to her, uh, you know macros and, and calories in versus calories out really just a really good analogy came to me that i think i wanted i wanted to share on this channel because i think it could help a lot of people so the analogy that i came up with was about mowing the yard okay so um or, or think about your macros like you would your clothes okay we have clothes there's certain things you wear every day you know you're gonna wear some sort of uh you know, undergarment, you're going to wear uh, something over your legs, whether it be pants or shorts, um, something to cover your feet, your uh, your shirt, or your, your top garment. Um, sometimes you wear a jacket, sometimes you don't. But anyway, so you have all these pieces of clothing. So that's kind of how nutrition works. Every day you have to get certain nutritional goals in. You know, a lot of times the staple for that is protein, you know. So, you know, protein, you got to get it in. Um, and you, you can really be flexible with fats and carbs. But there's different events surrounding things that we do that we're going to make different decisions about clothing, right? So, you know, my daily gym attire is not uh, a $100 pair of jeans and um, a $40 shirt. Um, it's not, you know, when I go mow the yard, I'm not wearing my you know, light khaki dress pants and my shoes and my dress shoes to go mow the yard. You know, why, why spend $30 on a t-shirt that you're going to mow the yard in when you can get one for 5 or $10? So with your macros, why, why waste, why waste calories on foods just to get you, you know, through lunchtime at work, you know, you're, you got a 30 minute hour lunch break, you know, why go try to squeeze McDonald's into that when you could have meal prepped, had some grilled chicken and broccoli. And now this afternoon, when you get home, if you want to, uh, share, you know, some ice cream or something with your kid or whatever, you, you, you have the wiggle room and you may be able to fit it in. Or if, you know, you get a surprise call from your in-laws or your, uh, uh, brother, sister, cousin, whatever, and they want to go out to eat, you haven't, like, just blown through your calories and, like, well, I'd love to be social and hang out with you, but I, you know, I gotta, I don't have the room for it. Or what do you do? Or you eat lunch and you try to, try to eat a fancy lunch and get all your, use up all your macros, and you're like, well, I'm gonna go home. Well, then you get that invite. Well, then what happens? Then you feel bad. You really want to see this person. This person hadn't been in town in a while, so you say, heck with it, you go out to eat. Well, that one time's not going to hurt you, but these decisions over time are, are where the inconsistency comes in. The key to weight loss and sustainability is consistency. So if you could just get in some kind of routine where you're you're meeting your daily needs, you know, with your your uh, nutritional intake, but you understand and you're not so strict and hard on yourself that you can't enjoy those times with friends and family and coworkers when those times come and you plan accordingly. So that's basically what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Uh, stay tuned to the Instagram if you're not already following. Um, the next two weeks will kind of be interesting. Um, this may be TMI, so uh, warning for everybody. Um, I am actually having a vasectomy done tomorrow. So I will not be able to work out. I think the paper said you can resume normal exercise after two weeks. So I'm hoping, you know, it's normal exercise, but hopefully I can at least do something after maybe a week or so. Um, 
But so there'll be a couple weeks there where this will be the longest break for me in the gym. Well, since I started this almost two years ago now, um, so it'll be challenging for me. But I will uh, kind of be posting on Instagram. I obviously am still doing the mini cut, so we're on week two of that. Um, I think progress is going well with that. We're going to keep updated through that two-week period to show you guys that it's not about the gym, okay? The gym is bonus, and it's great, and it's, you know, for me, it's it's uh, a mental health thing as much as it is physical health, but um, the key is in the kitchen. You win the battle in the kitchen, but you guys already know that if you've been following. If not, major key alert, the key is in the kitchen. If you're looking for the key... It's in your kitchen cabinet. As always, thanks for the support. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to see you next time.